more of this horrible, <coughs> horrible uh, black soot to deal with. Okay, I need beer. Konnichiwa, minasan. Last October, Japan opened the borders for tourism and we jumped on the opportunity to visit. Located in an area which regularly gets over 10 meters of snow per year, it was time to prepare for winter. Okay, so here we are in the upstairs 1870s portion of the house. We've got the 1980s construction and then probably just a big black pit from where you're seeing this. But this is where we have all the wooden beam construction. Here you can see all their traditional wood beam construction, not a nail in the house. Meanwhile, we have old farming equipment, ducting, and then this is something I just noticed now. How about a snake skin hanging from the roof? Either shed itself there, which would be interesting, meaning, yeah, keeping an eye out for snakes. Or what not else, but hey, anyways, here you can take a look at some of the traditional roofing materials. So it's all soot covered from years of using a wood stove inside. Um, and yeah, it's just tied together with ropes, nice big beams. And then that goes all the way up into the roof line and beyond. I'm happy that I didn't find any snakes while cleaning out the mess. The only life I came across were a few hachi, murder hornets, flying around and several mummified rats who had probably passed on sometime last century. This area of the house has excited me since I first saw it. Reclaiming it and making it functional just seems fun. It needs a floor, gyprock, paint and also a purpose, but first a good clean and some insulation. So this is the end result it's just boxes and boxes of dirt so there is a view of what I've been doing yeah you don't see much but this is actually just the slightest bit of dust and what it is is I found that it's hard wood underneath but to get to that hard wood there's a solid six inches of dust litter clutter I'm boxing it up and uh, yeah, it's a mess. You can see why I'm wearing a, a hazmat suit now, eh? When we previously visited Nozawa Onsen, we stayed in hotels in the main town where warmth wasn't an issue. It was a bit of a shock that a house in snow country wouldn't come with central heating. While friends have installed wood or pellet stoves to keep warm, the traditional method seems to be to heat the room you're in and dress warm inside. While that's a good practice, we're gonna try something else. After three mornings, I can finally see the floorboards. Probably been about 20 boxes of, uh, of dirt. Still definitely more to go. Yep, getting there. We chose to install a brand new, super efficient Hitachi 18 tatami mat heat pump to keep the house warm. Centrally placed, we can then spread warm air throughout the downstairs as we wish by opening doors and allowing bleed between rooms to increase the overall ambient temperature. To minimize loss into the roof, we need to insulate. We looked at various options, including fiberglass and Neoma styrofoam, but we finally settled on rock wool. This is based upon prior positive experience, sound absorption, as well as water and fire resistance, which in an old wood house seems to be a good idea. Yeah, so that was a, a very productive afternoon. Got a lot of stuff out of the out of the attic above the kitchen. As you can tell, a little bit of black soot. This is even considering I was still wearing protective gear, it still seemed to get through stained, colored. Uh, where is it? Back there, a lot of it's being re repurposed to become bark mulch. And then this stuff over here, which is old twigs and that kind of stuff, I'm probably gonna try to burn it in that fire bin right there. So we'll see uh, when I can get to that, probably in the next couple of days, but still more of this horrible, <coughs> horrible uh, black soot to deal with. Okay, I need beer. Day number five, I think. Here we go, we're gonna start vacuuming out all the top level dust from the beams, the classic, the soot sitting on top. And what I've done is I've set up the shop vac and we'll see if this works. It's a little Jimmy solution with some ducting I found. Let's try to get all of that directly out the window. 
As you can see, this was the big job the other day. Finally got this all done. Thinking about putting in a false floor. Let's give it a go. Common heating methods in Japan include kerosene heaters, oil radiators, and wood stoves. One uniquely Japanese heating method is the katatsu table. Imagine a coffee table with a blanket sewn into it and a heat source placed underneath. Anyone sitting at the table is comfortably warm from the waist down. As we spend most of our time in Indonesia, Lauren made the observation that this would be the same as people in Bali sitting at a table with a block of ice underneath trying to cool down. I'm unsure. So looking at all of the classic floorboards here, um, all the cross beams are tied together with rope and here this is uh, you can see the false ceiling uh, of the kitchen below but there's still a lot of soot and stuff I'm gonna have to either vacuum I'm gonna have to shovel out the biggest snowfall on record in Nozawa Onsen was over 20 meters or 66 feet in 1986 when they say you need to prepare for winter it's real and not in a Game of Thrones sense, where it's over in one episode and you can't even see it. And there's the beautiful underfloor. Yeah, all done. Time to just replace the boards. I chose to uh, listen to music instead of making film today, so... There's the project. Moving forward. In researching insulation, we looked into how Rockwell is made. Whereas I thought it was just a name, it is actually made from weaving together strands of molten rock. This explains its fire resistance, as it's pretty hard to light a rock on fire. Eight packages of rock wool. This project was amazing. It took a week of cleaning, three to five hours a day, getting covered in black soot, coming out looking like a coal miner to get rid of the dirt and dust only to complete the building portion where I laid the rock wool in about one and a half hours. So quick. Even in its current loose placement with a few boards placed on top for pressure, a noticeable difference in terms of heat retention could be felt in the kitchen below. We will see what will come of this space in the future, whether a game room, lounge space, or just left as is. Regardless, it has been a rewarding process. And there we go. Project done for this trip. The floor is now all insulated with five centimeter thick rock wool. Down here I did the same. This floor will be easy and covered, so this one I was a bit more meticulous with and shoving it into the cracks and uh, cutting it. I did the wall here as well because my idea is to eventually seal and seal this whole thing, run actual real two by fours, create a fake floor, well, not a fake floor, but a real floor over top. And then this will be a sunken seating area for the kids or wherever. There's a nice little window, but yeah. A lot of work still to go on here, but for now, that's an insulated kitchen. How about that? Better than a foot and a half of, of yeah, of dirt, twigs. I think that'll, uh, that'll cover us.